Okay, this is the part two. I just load up a piece of a Home Depot melamine. The table is a five by 10, which is another reason why I'm selling it. I'm using a seven by nines. So every time I, I have to cut something on this table, I have to manually cut it down so it can fit the machine. So this is the, the reason why I'm selling the distributor here in Florida. They only sell these big sheets. So uh, we're just gonna cut a, a little cabinet here. It's gonna be a wall cabinet, 15, uh, 12 by 15. This is uh, their software here, quick cut. And this is the one, the other one to draw everything up. Let me show you real quick. So this is how you cut cabinets once it's ready. But you really create the cabinet on this software here. I think I have to close this one before. Uh, let me close this down. So I'm gonna open the e-cabinet. And this is where you'll make all the cabinets. So I'm just gonna, when I went to school, they told me uh, you load an existing job. Uh, Ray closet. And this is a, uh, and I can't do it because you gotta hold hold shift to make it 3D. But this is where you make all the changes. Once it's done, you save it in a catalog, and uh, and that's and then you open this one here, quick cut, and that's where uh, you do like editing, like how high and. Uh, so this is a, a regular one. See, this is, you create, you can make doors on here with the hinge holes already. All right, the cabinets. But the one we're gonna do is this one here, which has the blind, blind dowel method, where you don't need anything to assemble the cabinet, just glue and a clamp. So here you put the quantity. You put one, width is 15, the height is 15. The depth is 12. You could change all this and you click add. And also uh, when you click a quick and you, you keep adding, this list keeps going down. Down back. So you click this. I'm not gonna change the material, but right now it's signed up for a four by eight plywood. So I'm just gonna click no. I don't know why it's doing that, but uh, you click here. I clicked over here. And now you click this little uh, X here. You do have to know a little bit about computer and stuff. And you have to be good with tools because you need to change tools. But if you just uh, download something off the internet, DXF files, you click here to load it. Or you could do manual input where you put the sizes manually and you can just cut squares or rectangles with that. But I do use this uh, DXF and you can just load pre-made pieces on there. So uh, you click OK here. Then you click um, Nest. Oh, let, let me do it again so you can see it. So whenever you put X, I, I clicked on this, but X is it's aligning everything to the left of the sheet. Since my sheet is very small, I'm just gonna nest to the bottom. So this is like you're looking from the top this is our the machine sitting now. This is the table, and this is the piece of plywood. So once you're uh, ready, you click Nest, and it's gonna come on here. And let me just show you here real quick of uh, all the doors I did pre-made. You see, so I have all my doors pre-made here, so I don't need to use e cabinets if I don't want it to. You can just load the accepts. I have all my cabinets here. And I'll throw that in, I guess. I'm not gonna delete it. But I spend a lot of time and money doing the little list. So once we're ready, we're gonna turn on the vacuum. Bend the vacuum. Uh, we're gonna turn on the this one first. Go ahead, Umberto. And then we're gonna turn on the vacuum so we can suck up the <laughs> So as soon as I print, uh, print it's going to uh, 
So print the label and the paper so we can label these. Got it. Oh, okay. So he's gonna press the green button. And this is gonna pop up this little fence. So that's how we align the material. So you see? Better. So you see now the material is stuck. If you if you turn this off, you can move the material. But as soon as that uh hold on, you see, it got stuck to the table. So that's how you uh you align the, the material. You've gotta hit all these stops. And then you click here. And then if you want to be extra careful, you press it down a little bit. This is how you adjust the speed. That's the speed right there. If this piece is really small, I'm gonna cut it in uh, 70%. Once I click start, it's gonna start working. It's gonna print the, the label by itself. So it's telling me to load the piece of material, three quarters. Press the green button or you can use the mouse. As the machine is working, the auto loop is, uh, is dripping. That's how the machine gets lubricated. Whenever that's dripping, you know it's working. Now he's gonna grab the cutting tool and he's gonna start cutting. 